Hi, I'm Trisha Clements, Chief Fur Wrangler with MuttButts.com, and today I want to talk to you about Instagram and how to use your business bio on your Instagram account to attract the right followers for your business. Make sure you stay tuned to the end because I do have a free download for a checklist for you so that you can go through and check off everything you need to do to rock your Instagram bio. First thing you need to do is make sure that you have a business account on Instagram. The reason that's important is because it allows you to see insights on your posts and also your followers. So you need to make sure you have a business account, set that up, and then after you start posting, once you become a business account, you will begin to see on each post what followers liked and commented and you can see which posts are doing better than other posts. Therefore, you can create your strategy for posting on um, what to post on Instagram based on what your followers like and engage in the most. The next thing that is really important about it is the fact that you can put information in for how to contact you. So that's your phone number, your email, and your address. And when you put those into your business account and you look there on your bio, they are clickable links. Basically, when you hit on the call me, it will open up in the phone app so that your customers and potential customers can call you direct. They don't have to copy and paste. The same for email and the same for directions. It opens up in that app in their phone so they don't have to stop, copy and paste and open up the app. It automatically does it. That's really important with Instagram and also with the clickable link that's in your bio. The only clickable link on Instagram is in your bio. So make sure that you're using that to the best that you can. For instance, you may wanna just put a link to your website, but if you are talking about a specific product or service one week or one month, and you're really trying to emphasize that, you might wanna put a link in there to a special, a promotion that you're doing on that, and where it takes them directly to that information where they don't have to search your website for it. Or if you're doing a freebie or a bonus or coupon, make sure that you change and put that link in your bio. You can change that link. It doesn't have to stay the same. So I really recommend that you use a link that goes to something that you're working on and you're promoting either for the week or the month. You can change it. Now remember I said that you need to put your address in on your Instagram. That's really important. You don't want to talk to people about a product if they are in a different location and it's not practical for them to be a potential customer and they will get frustrated with that as well. So let's say for instance you are a business and maybe you have a, a local product or service and you don't want to put your business address because maybe you have a home office. Make sure that you put your city and state in there at the very least. That way that will come up on Instagram and show the city and state. You really want to make sure you put as much as possible in Instagram in your bio as far as your city and state so that everyone knows where you're located. Make sure that you are putting something a little bit on the personal side, not too personal now. So on your bio, put something, for instance, on mine, I uh, work a lot with pet businesses. So one of the things that I'm passionate about is volunteering for animal related nonprofits. So I've got information on that in my bio and I tell people that. And that's something that while it's a little bit personal, it's not exactly on the business that I do, it will also help attract those customers because being in the pet industry, while that's something that I'm passionate about, most of them are passionate about that as well. Now your picture that you use in your Instagram bio, it's really important. A lot of businesses might think, I need to use my logo because I've paid money for this logo. It's a great logo. I love it. I want to put it everywhere. Well, for business accounts, 
especially for small business entrepreneur, you know, maybe not for the big, huge businesses like um, Coke, PetSmart, any of those, but for your business, you're primarily going to want to put, instead of your logo, a photo of yourself. If you have a small business team, you can put a photo of the full team on there something that is personal because you're using Instagram. You want your customers to get to know you, your potential customers get to get to like you, know you, trust you, and become your customers. So it's really important to actually use a photo that helps them relate to you. And of course, the logo is not to be dismissed at all. Make sure when you're doing your posts that you do have your logos on your posts as well. And your picture on Instagram is for your bio 110 by 110. Now for your bonus tip. Did you know on Instagram, you get more engagement with posts that have a location tagged in the post. So if you can, if you're out somewhere and you want to post and tag a location, that's great. But if you're somewhere and you just want to tag your own business, go ahead and do that. Now, if you try to put your business in and it doesn't come up, here's a tip for you. You know, Instagram is owned by Facebook and your Instagram account is connected to your Facebook page. The way to do that is to go to your Facebook page and make sure that you put your address in there in your information for your Facebook page. So, Basically, what I mean is when you then go and search for your business page, you can find it under pages, but you can also find it under places. So you want to make sure that in your Facebook page that you have your location set. That will then allow you, because it is a designated as a place on Facebook, to go into Instagram and tag your place of business. And again, on Instagram, posts that have a location tagged are getting more engagement. So if you don't have a place you wanna tag, go ahead and tag your own business. I have a free checklist for you to download that has everything that you need to check off to make sure that you rock your Instagram bio. Again, I'm Trisha Clements, Chief Fur Wrangler with MudFutts.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.